I probably, I mean, without knowing more of the details, it's hard to say definitively, but I, 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 I think so. Uh, you know, and one, one of the big concepts in music therapy that I didn't, I didn't touch on, but, you know, I mentioned that I work in hospice care sometimes, and that's not the situation here, I hope, but, but working in long-term care, working in hospice care where people have very, very serious uh, chronic illnesses that are often, um, they're terminal illnesses in, in many cases in long-term care and hospice care. But the, despite the fact that someone has a severe illness, a chronic illness, they're, they're still alive and they're still living. They're still here. And we want to use our interventions to the best of our ability to simply improve quality of life even in the case of like advanced uh parkinson's or dementia where we know there's a, a neuro degenerative a degenerative chronic disease it's really only as far as we know goes in one uh one direction there's still lots of things we can do to improve the quality of life and make the remaining time more pleasant. In the case of a chronic disease, a chronic illness that's not um, terminal, a person just living with a chronic disease and has low energy and the emotional um, consequences of, of living with a chronic disease, we can, again, we can still work on ways to integrate music into that person's life to um, make the quality of life higher. There's lots of work on how music and involvement in music reduces um, perception of pain, reduces pain. Um, so that can also be a very important tool. And if it's a if it's a neurodegenerative illness like Parkinson's or dementia or um, MS or something like that, there the the neurologic effects of music can also be physiologically helpful. Now we're not going to cure the disease with music, but we might be able to improve the person's functioning um, on a day to on on daily tasks and day to day things because the the point of neurologic music therapy is to to target the neurologic system with music to improve upon non-musical behaviors and functioning, sensory motor skills, speech language, pain perception, cognition, et cetera. So again, it depends a lot on what the details of the, of the individual case are. Like any form of healthcare, it's highly uh, individualized and based on uh, you know, an intake where we learn about the patient and design a program specifically for that person. So, but the answer is probably, to, you know, but of course, depending on other details.